problem of observation down to the gist of it. What you get is that observation is actually creation. We don't believe what we see, but we see what we believe. This has incredible consequences if we, will, if we really understand this right, because when we observe, it's not that we are seeing something in the, uh, objectively out there, what we are basically projecting thoughts onto what we're observing. And these projections, they have the function of expectations. So the moment we start to observe something, we are expecting something. And that expectation, one could call it a belief. So observation is actually based on beliefs, and we tend to realize these beliefs. At the subatomic level, reality behaves in accordance with the expectation of the observer, or the measurer, the scientist. Why is that remarkable? Because everything in the universe is composed of those subatomic. These atoms are particles that are whirling at lightning speeds around huge empty spaces. And the particles aren't material objects. They are fluctuations of energy and information in a huge void of energy and information. What the science now is showing is that when you can change the field that the atom is in, you change the atom. And we're made of those atoms. So when we have feelings in our hearts, we're changing the field uh, that connects the stuff everything is made of. And we literally are altering our physical reality. How do you do that? How do, how do you make that pencil move? Is that a trick pencil? No. I ask it to move. I mean, I could say that I will it, but that'd be more like a command. This is more like a collaboration, a partnership. Partnership? Mm-hmm. With a pencil. Well, why not? We're all made up of the same stuff, aren't we? Wood. Energy, Bob. But beginning with Einstein, modern physics has assured us that this solidity is a mirage. All of physical matter, everything we have around us, is the result of a frequency. And what that also means is that if you amplify the frequency, the structure of the matter will change.
not try and bend the spoon. That's impossible. Instead, only try to realize the truth. What truth? There is no spoon. There is no spoon? Then you'll see that it is not the spoon that bends. It is only yourself. observation problem is that observation is actually creation and this has incredible consequences for everybody because the moment we start to observe something for instance in someone we have already started to expect that from them and in a way started to create that if you um, get into the realms of fear fear is a very slow dense vibrational state and the more you 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 embody fear and the whole of this manipulated society is globally is structured to make us fear to make us have stress to make us worry about tomorrow uh, and have guilt about yesterday um, and forget about now it brings us into a a slow vibrating dense state we should be very careful about what we believe about the future the more you attach to a belief system, the more, if reality is holographic, you're helping create it by believing it. And, you know, the great clairvoyant Edgar Cayce said that our every thought, that reality is built out of thought, and our every thought starts to build reality, and we're like, every thought is like a spider, we're like spider spinning web, and it, that web starts to build and build. of a secret government project to create a spacecraft capable of faster than light flight. The ship doesn't really go faster than light. What it does is it creates a dimensional gateway that allows it to jump instantaneously from one point of the universe to another light years away. Where has she been for the last seven years, Doctor? That's what we're here to find out. is a tomb but it didn't come back alone captain miller i've got some problems here this ship has been beyond the boundaries of our universe who knows where it's been and what it's brought back with it is reacting to us and the reactions are getting stronger. What are you telling me? That this ship is alive? Oh. I have such wonderful things to show you. Oh my God. It knows my secrets. <laughs> it knows my fears. <laughs> Vacate. I want off this ship. I can't leave. You are pledged. The old understanding of observation is exactly the opposite of that, and that is that we, that we tend to believe what we see. 
and so the idea would be then that we can somehow observe the world and then based on those observations we create an explanation of the reality of it is, is that we tend to create what we are observing.